Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amigo's YouTube channel. This is Chaney180. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Magneto. I gotta say, I do like the way this came out. We've got uh, some cool new improvements here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we got a new helmet here. Uh, I really do like the, uh, the digital uh, paint applications on the face there. That looks cool. There's... I'm not familiar with this torso in here. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure where this is. This isn't the same as what we got before. Uh, the legs are the same, uh, but we got pinless. I haven't been mentioning that. I don't know. Pinless just kind of like slips my mind sometimes. Anyway, so I do like the way that the cape has been handled this time. I don't like how it's you know still a hard plastic cape, but this one definitely works a lot better. So let's go ahead and check out his accessories. Alright, so uh, coming with Magneto, we get two fists. No effects, just two fists, two open hands, and that's it. Maybe an unmasked head would have been nice. Uh, some kind of magnetic effect, but we didn't really get anything. Um, I would have liked a little bit more, definitely. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the articulation on this guy. As you can see, there's a peg back here for the cape, so you can kind of move it around, but it is glued in the front. And I actually like this, um, because if it wasn't, this thing would be flopping all over the place and falling off. And yeah, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. This is actually pretty cool. So we've got a uh, ball joint with a hinge here at top, on top. And looks down about that much. Looks up that much. Move his hands out of the way. That much. Uh, little little bit of pivot there. You can go side to side. No issues. Uh, arms go up about that high. We don't go all the way around because we're crashing into the cape. But you get you know you can get a kind of a uh, full gauge there. You got a bicep swivel in there, double hinge elbow, swivel and hinge at the wrist. You got a nice ab crunch right here. You got a waist swivel and this nice soft belt that just kind of contours to the movement. The legs go out that far. They go forward that or forward that far. You get a thigh swivel, double hinge knee, hinge and a pivot at the ankle there so you could really get this guy to you know kind of move around and have some fun especially since that that cape stays right there i actually do like that you can get him into some uh, nice poses but let's go ahead and uh check out some comparisons here all right so here we've got magneto from the uh the three pack with uh scarlet witch and quicksilver and then we have Magneto from, oh my goodness, which Build-A-Figure? Oh, it was, a, was it the Apocalypse? I think it might have been the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure wave. Yeah. So this is just kind of a random one-off suit that I'm actually really surprised they even made a figure of. Um, but this one, you know, you can see we've we've come a long way. We've made some improvements along the way here. This, like, the way that the paint looks on this, on his, you know, evil face, like, he looks almost like a zombie magneto and then the way that the uh the cape is there you know I, I like the glue there i like how it holds everything in place we've got a new sculpt on the cape everything's looking good there and then here we have the uh house of x powers of 10 magneto um and you can see that we've got three different you know helmet head sculpts here which is really interesting i like this one the most so far though so we've we've made a lot of improvements here um i do dig that here we have X-Men 97 Wolverine and X-Men 97 Rogue, X-Men 97 Storm and X-Men 97 Gambit, and lastly, Jada Toys, Evil Ryu, and Chun-Li. All right, so here's the unmasked head that comes with the uh, that weird suited Magneto, and it sits kind of high and it looks kind of big, but I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I like that. 
but that definitely was an option for sure. And then here's the uh, more stoic uh, head sculpt from the, the three-pack Magneto. Then we've got the three-pack Magneto head sculpt on here, which doesn't look too bad, but for some reason it really brings the reds out in the face with these hands. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right. I almost forgot to do this here. I swapped the hands from the uh, three-pack Magneto and put them on this Magneto. The colors don't match exactly, but you could kind of fudge it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm potentially thinking of swapping out my three-pack Magneto and putting this one in uh, the display as my main Magneto. I don't hate that. I think that looks pretty cool. It's not too far off. If it's up on a shelf, I mean, you know, no one's going to walk in my house and be a stickler about that. Or at least they better not. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so final thoughts on the uh, Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Magneto. Um, as I had said before, there's a lot of improvements here. Um, I really like the way the helmet came out. I like the face sculpt. I like the, uh, you know, subtle darkness to the face there. They came out pretty good. Um, I would have liked to unmask head sculpt. You know, anything more than just, I mean, I guess I'm lucky to get two sets of hands, but, you know, some kind of effect, a new head sculpt, that would have been great. I really would have liked that. Um, I do like whatever this new body is here. You know, pardon me for not remembering, or I, I don't know. I don't know what that's from. Um, and I like the new, the new cape here. The new cape looks awesome. I dig how it all kind of fits together. You know, we, we've really dialed in the, the look of Magneto here. Um, I would love to see this done, you know, again with like, uh, you know, some new head sculpts and stuff like that, because what they got here works, you know, you got rid of all of the clunkiness from the old one with the cape and everything, everything is kind of streamlined. Would I like a soft goods cape? Yeah, probably, but, uh, this kind of works cause it kind of stays out of the way, you know, you can still get him to, you know, do some cool poses even with that, this this cape on here and oddly enough it feels softer than the gambit jacket which is very strange overall i do like this i think this is probably going to take the place of my mag main magneto uh in my display i'm just gonna you know do the uh the hand swap here and uh you know see how that works but yeah overall i i like this i definitely like this i wish it would have came with more accessories but you know, maybe we'll get that in a later release. But uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Check out the podcast, Chet Mingo's Assemble on Tuesdays. They're not dolls on Thursdays. Take it easy, guys.